America is not a racist nation. Now, looking through the history, right? The government, very suspect and racist, right? We can go back and forth on what was happening in the Constitution and getting that passed and the uh, three-fifths clause. But as we see the early days of the United States uh, history, the United States government at the federal, state, and local levels was very instrumental in using race enslaving people, black people, right? But not just black people, treatment of Native Americans, right? Treatment of Asians. Dare we even say treatment of Irish and others who immigrated here. Race was used as a means by the government to, in my estimation, maintain a whole lot of power. And we see that a lot in the past, in the early days of the United States history. Obviously, no more uh, glaring than the slavery that was happening in the South, right? That then resulted in the Civil War, that resulted in Reconstruction, and then we had the Black Codes and Jim Crow. But again, those were instrumented, uh, implemented by government. Now, were people practicing racism? Yes. Were churches preaching it? Yes. Were there educational institutions that were just for white people? Yes. But the beauty and ingenuity and creativity specifically of Americans who would who are black in their past began to open their own businesses, open their own schools and thrive in the face of overwhelming racism that was codified in law and enforced in horrible ways from lynchings to cross burnings to homes and businesses being destroyed. Okay. Yes. America at some point was racist, right? Pitting one group against another. But as time went by, now we get to the mid, middle of the 20th century, racism as practiced and enforced by the United States government was on its deathbed. So thank you, Martin Luther King. Thank you, Ralph Abernathy. Thank you, Rosa Parks. Thank you, Coretta Scott King. Thank you, Malcolm X. Thank you, Marcus Garvey. Thank you to those young people who stood up and fought for the ideals of what America could be as outlined in the United States Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. So things have gotten better. People are not burning crosses in people's yards, right? We don't have black uh, blacks only water fountains, whites only water fountains. We got mask only restaurants and mask only stores. That's a whole different discussion. But as far as discrimination, prejudice, racism on the basis of skin color, practice openly and as the norm of society today, that's just not the case. So when Tim Scott says America is not a racist nation and Vice President Kamala Harris says America is not a racist nation, and I agree with Vice President Harris, as I'm sure Senator Tim Scott would agree, that we can't forget the mistakes and the failures of the past in regards to a nation. That's very important. I think every nation should be cognizant of the things that happen in their previous iterations in forms of government and society. 
but that we also have to look at and celebrate and understand how far that we have come. 